Good morning. Well, today um, I'm showing you my collection obsession for June. And also, I will be having another video at 2 o'clock Eastern Time or 3 o'clock Central Time and whatever it is in the East or the West Coast. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, I'm going to show you this. And I don't think I used maybe one thing that I extra that I put into my collection obsession last month so um, anyhow I'm, I'm still gonna add things oh I think I used ribbon two ribbons okay so I did use those things but otherwise I really didn't um, use anything okay so I'm sorry about that my husband interrupted me <laughs> like usual Okay, so um, I'm using Mente's Nana's Kitchen. I thought since I had been working on the um, my recipe book that this would be a good one to pull in that I would have. Um, I shouldn't have any problem trying to do for um, scrapbook layouts of recipes. So that's what I'm using. And I did show you this not too long ago. So I am going to just kind of do a quick flip. I have not cut up anything yet, so I will have to do that in the next day or two. And so this is paper one. This is paper two. It's got the recipe. I was reading the recipes. <laughs> this is paper three. I don't know why, but I love the spoon one. This is paper four. I guess I just always love something so ornate. And it's paper five. That's so pretty. And paper six. And so I could always write my recipe on here as long as it's not too big. Or otherwise I could um, print it and then just cut it and put it on there. Um, I probably could put it through the printer, but I'll tell you, my printer did not like thick printer paper in there. So, and then I have two of each, of course. And then, um, oh, I guess I should leave this here so you can kind of see the colors. Okay, and then here is the six by eight, and I'm gonna kind of flip through that. There's three of each design. And I'll be cutting up these also. I have grown herbs and I've, I don't know if I've ever gotten a picture of them while they were growing, but I did have pictures of them drying. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna lay this back over here. And I wonder if I need this side up. Okay, I'll leave that side up. Um, and then I have the cut aparts. I mean the already the laser cuts or what they really are. And I think I'm I'm just gonna pull out this so I can kind of show you that. And so there they are, and I will be just probably kind of mixing them in with the others. But really cute kitcheny stuff. And I'll move that since it's um, kind of shiny. Okay, now for everything else that I'm going to put in there. Okay, I have these um, wooden pieces that, I don't know if they're real, real wood or faux wood, but um, I had these in here last time and I didn't use them and I thought, well, maybe they look a little more kitcheny. Maybe I could use them then. So I'm gonna have these, and I'm just, I've got two of them. I'm just gonna put that one aside since it's shiny. Um, I have these, and I don't remember if I showed these or not, but I bought them off Amazon, and they're like stitches. And I mean, I will prefer to probably stitch if I can, but probably won't happen this month because I'm gonna have the youngest grand while um, my daughter and her family go to um where are they going 
to Ireland. I keep wanting to say Scotland because, you know, I've spent a lot of time <laughs> watching Outlander. <laughs> guilty pleasures, guilty pleasures. <laughs> so, um, I'm bringing this in and um, I put in this ticket that I used in, um, I think it was Alex's dance layout. And I put this in here because I thought this color would go good with it. So that was just a reminder that I would like this color with it because it, it looks really good with that. And uh, since um, I'll be doing some um, cooking and recipe layouts, then I figured I'd bring in some doilies. So I brought in three sizes of those Cambridge doilies. And then I have these that are kind of a turquoise color. So they look great with it. And then I brought this in just because it has all the die cuts um, that I cut out in white. And I had this in the kit last time. And it has that kind of like doily border. So I thought that was perfect. Okay, and then um, Remember when I went through some of those boxes, I had these little bags, so I thought well, I'm gonna bring those. And then I went through the card thing and I thought, well, if I did my pasty recipe, I would totally put perfect on there because that's how I feel about it. <laughs> and then favorite or favorite, either one of those would be work, work really well with it. And then um, I have these burlap bows, so they would be perfect. And then I thought, well, I'm going to go get some washi. And so um, I have this one. This is one that I bought from Amazon where I just bought a collection of, I'm pretty sure it's from that. I don't know. There's hardly any on here, but it's wood grain. And I think I did use some of that. Um, um, the month previous and um, which was April. I think I used that then. Then I have this one that I thought it looks just like the same color as the flowers in this collection. So I'm going to bring that in and I think it's Jen Hadfield from one of her collections. And then I have this black gingham and then I have this green plaid which looks, it looks like a darker shade. Well, it has the same shade and then a darker shade. I thought that would be pretty. And then when I found those, I found this where it has um, a spoon and a fork on it and I've had it for years. I don't think I ever used it, but if I did, you can't tell because there's so much on here. And I think it was Tim Holtz. And then I have this one that, um, looks like vintage writing and it's also on that like similar color so I don't know if it's from the same collection maybe because it's same size um, so I thought well I'm gonna bring that in because I think it would look good here and it looks kind of kitschy so I'm bringing that in too and then I pulled out this pink because it's like the same family and I think it might have been a I don't know it's like it's got tape on it so it's a I could run it across like it's washy but I probably couldn't make a bow with it and then um, when I seen that I also seen this burlap and I think my daughter gave this to me I don't know but I love burlap I don't know I'm really on anything <laughs> and then um, I found this and it was from Stamping up. I bought a stamping up set, well, a bunch of things at an auction for her, for my daughter's um, twins that they were at a, it was like a preschool and they had an auction every year. And so I bought that. And so I got this and this in that kit. And both of them look like they would go well with this. This is like a darker shade of the green. And then um, I also have this one. It is from the same place this is because it is also sticky, which I didn't even realize till just now. So I have that. 
And then um, since I went through those alphabets, I found those copper letters and I thought they would be really cute with this. So I had like a partial bag of them and then um, another container full of them. So I'm bringing those in. And then I had these Scrabble letters that I have no idea what I, there is like only a sampling of them, so I have no idea if there's even a word I can spell, but I thought I'd bring those along. I have these Can Company Life's Journey, and it says care, us, you, love. I thought that would be good. And there's good, and so I thought there would maybe be some words that I could use and they would be cute on this paper, I think. And then I had these laying on my table and I thought, well, um, I've used these before for recipe pages and it has that melon color and it's wood grain on the top, a darker wood grain. And then I have this lighter wood grain with that turquoise color. So or kind of greenish. I don't know, it looks very close to this. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna bring those into. So, oh, that's not all my collection. And then I also um, have this tab punch because I will put that on there even if I don't actually put the name on, of the recipe on there because you know I did the last time. So that's gonna be my collection obsession for this month. I think it will be fun. And um, remember that I have a video going up at 2 o'clock this afternoon, Eastern Time. And that will be for celebrating with Ginger because she reached her 3,000 subscriber goal. And so I hope you join me back here then and I will be doing a recipe layout. So thank you for joining me now and have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Close-ups at the end.